Frank McCourt is fighting to take back control, and he is with us this morning. So is our sports business reporter, Michelle Steele. Great to have you both here. Frank McCourt, what's your relationship like with Bud Selig, the commissioner of baseball? Have you spoken to him? No, I, as a matter of fact, I, I haven't. I've got uh, half a dozen calls into him over the last several weeks, and uh, he hasn't um, returned those calls. And that's, you know, I don't, I don't know why he's ducking me, but uh, you know, my, my, in my experience, when there's a problem or an issue, you sit down and you talk about it. Without communication, you're not going to solve anything. He's not returning your calls. You say that the probe into the team's finances has a predetermined outcome. Do you think you're effectively being forced out by Major League Baseball? Uh, it's it, it sure seems that way to me. Um, you know, I, I, as I've said um, repeatedly, this is a, a franchise that's in complete compliance with all of baseball's rules, including their financial rules. We're current on all of our payments. Uh, I haven't asked for nor have I received a penny of uh, emergency funding from baseball or from the other owners and uh, presented a um, multi-billion dollar media transaction which is ready to be signed by, by Fox and, uh, and uh, the Dodgers, mm -hmm. uh, which infuses almost $300 million into the team immediately, mm -hmm. and then uh, it assures the financial health and stability of the franchise for the next two decades. And uh, so I don't know how you investigate a team that, that, right. that is, is meeting all the rules and regulations, never mind appoint someone in to take over the team before you've even had the investigation. It doesn't smell right to me. Now, current on all of your payments, but the LA Times says that you needed a $30 million loan from Fox to make payroll. Do you think that that's sort of what caused Sea uh, Lake to appoint someone to take over day-to-day -day operations last uh, week? I, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask Commissioner Sealy, but what is, what is the rule? Uh, or what is wrong with an individual investing his own money in the team? What's not in the best interest of baseball for an owner to invest in his team, uh, particularly invest his own money and mm -hmm. not go to the other owners and borrow their money? So um, I don't, I don't, I think that's a, um, a phony issue, quite frankly. Frank, you're not the only uh, team that's struggling here. You know, clearly in this market, the New York Metropolitans have had their own issues. Do you think there's a discrepancy with how uh, the league has treated them versus the Dodgers? I think that's for others to, to, to make that judgment. All I know is that we have a transaction that's fully negotiated, fully drafted, ready to be signed today by the Dodgers and by Fox. It's uh, on Bud Selig's desk. The only thing standing between that deal closing uh, which assures the financial stability of the franchise uh, is uh, Bud Selig. And it, it doesn't make any sense to me to say, um, oh, I can't do it until I have an investigation. First of all, there shouldn't be an investigation. But if, if the commissioner wants an investigation, I welcome it. Because the more you see, the more you're going to like. We run a great franchise. Uh, but to say that the investigation is a reason I'm not going to go allow a transaction that's good for baseball and good for the Dodgers and good for L.A. and good for our fans, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, it's, it, um, it just doesn't smell right. It really doesn't. Mr. McCourt, I beg your pardon for getting personal, but how did this end up in divorce court with Jamie McCourt? And does it have to do with the fact that maybe she wants to run the team and that's what's causing all this consternation? No, I don't think it's, it has anything to do with uh, the fact that she wants to run the team. I think that it might have something to do with all of the white noise that, w that, that was accompanied the divorce. You know, divorce is a very difficult thing, and, and uh, as a you know, working class kid from outside of Boston, um, you know, with a, my background, I never thought I was going to get divorced, but you know, it happens and, and uh, it's a tough thing. I can tell you now, it's a tough thing emotionally, it's tough on the family, but when you do it publicly, it's, it's very hard. And I think maybe some of the noise that existed around that divorce might be, might be uh, um, entering the thinking here, but somebody getting divorced is no reason mm -hmm. for uh, baseball to take their team away from them. It's just, it just it, there's, there's, there's no basis for that. And, and uh, that's, that's, I think, a, um, maybe how the divorce plays into it. Any kind of offer that you've made to Bud Selig, either in conjunction with Jamie or with uh, some kind of help from lawyers, have you made any kind of offer to oh, him? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I, first and foremost, I've said that all of the money from this transaction goes into the team, period. I'll, I'll stipulate to that in writing that not a penny of this money will go to me or go to Jamie or, or, or be, uh, be divorce-related. And, and uh, it's, it, it's important that the Los Angeles Angeles Dodgers be financially sound and this deal it, may, it makes them bulletproof and it has the investigation is a separate matter from this transaction and it's just an excuse to throw out this investigation and say I'm not going to look at the transaction the transaction is consistent with uh, uh, 
all the transactions that have been approved by baseball for other clubs. The only exception is this is the uh, most lucrative for any team. So this is better for the Dodgers than a uh, comparable transaction. There's no reason not to approve this transaction. Thank you very much, Frank McCourt. Michelle Steele.